Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look into this error from React. Fail to execute remove child on node. The node to be removed is not child of this node. We'll begin with analyzing the root cause and end the video with a fix. So watch it until the end. I have two examples today. First, reproducing it with a button and a text, then resolving it. Second, we are going to replicate it with autocomplete component of material UI. So let's begin. This is my code. I use for visual code as my ID. First, reproducing it with a component that consists of a label and an image. I'm using a button to change the text of label at runtime. It works just fine without translation. This is how it looks right now. If I click on click me, it changes the text of text as checked it and you see everything works after a toggle. However, if I translate it and then try it, this is gonna crash with uncaught runtime error. Fail to execute remove child on node. The node to be removed is not a child of this node at remove child. Now let's refresh and see what happened on element level. Let's click on the button and Google Translate. You see that checked it test is wrapped under multiple font elements. This is what Google Translate does. It would have worked just fine if Google Translate only translates the text and not introduce any font elements. At this moment, text node still exists for React Virtual ROM, but the structure has changed. So this won't work and this will crash. Even though DOM tree has changed, React doesn't know about it. For React, previous scheme with virtual nodes is still relevant. React still considers the virtual text node a child of virtual button. And at this moment, crash will happen because text node is no longer a child of button node. Now, let's imagine that the image tag doesn't exist or it disappears along with the text under is checked condition. Go back to the code. We simply comment this one, save it, go back and refresh the page. Let's Google Translate. Click me. Everything which works just fine. Why? Because in this case, button element will become empty. React will recognize this during the rendering phase and during the commit phase. It will not execute the remove child method but will simply override the entire inner part of button element as if it called button node.innerHTML. In this case, it doesn't matter what's inside text node or font node, everything will be removed. Now there are a few options to fix this. We'll start with the first one. Uncommenting the image. First one is to wrap the text inside an element. We are going to use spam, but if you want, you can use div as well. Let's save this, refresh the page. We are going to switch on Google Translate because that's what, when the error occurs. Click me. And this is gonna simply fix it. We can try Google Translate again. No matter how many times I click on click me, this works. When we wrap it inside span element, the translator will create font elements inside the span element. At the same time, span itself will remain at the level in the button descendant tree. So this fixes the issue. Now the second fix. Let's remove the span. And save it. Second fix is to simply not translate it. Set translate to no. Now this depends on the requirement of your website if you want to translate it or not. Um, but if you set the translation to no, of course Google Translate will not be called and this fixes the issue. Nothing will happen when you translate to English or some other language. 
This is a downside, of course, your website will always appear in one language. There is one more fix that you can try. Replace it with a ternary operator and with an empty string under a condition. So here, when I am checking is checked and rendering checked it test, I'm going to replace and with a ternary operator. If it is checked, render checked it. Otherwise, render an empty string. Go back, refresh it, translate with me. Try translating again with me. Everything works fine. In this case, React will stop calling the element removal and will only try to replace the content in the text mode. This is why this also fixes the issue. These are the three ways which will help you resolve this problem. Or if you're brave enough, override the element removal method from React. We are not going to cover this in this video. The second part. Let's quickly replicate it with our second example. Autocomplete component of material UI. I have the code ready, so I'm simply going to comment the previous return and enable our autocomplete component. Save it. This is my autocomplete component, which renders a drop down with three options options one, option two, option three. This is working fine. However, if I translate, and then try adding options remove it this crashes with uncon time errors fail to execute remove child or node same error that we saw before the fix is same the root cause is same google translate wraps the text inside font elements and to fix this we can wrap the text inside span element and the problem should go away Going back to the code, here we see that the value is being rendered from render tax property. This is a simple text and that's what's causing the issue. We are going to wrap it inside span element and save it. Refresh it, Google Translate. Now if I add options and remove them, this is still going to work. To conclude, you can opt between three options. One, wrap the text inside span or div. Second, set translation to no. Third, replace it with an empty string to avoid calling remove child method of React. I hope this helped. Try this and tell me in the comment section if this resolves your problem. If it does, don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'll come back with another problem and another fix in the next video. Thanks for watching.